Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. When we last left off, we managed to find all of the stone tablets. So, I think we're kind of pretty good to go. Uh, I am going to take some more equipment for <clears throat> no reason. So, let's go. Do we want healing? Do we? guess we can take some healing as well just in case I mean we don't really want to get fucked right now uh, also I have just uh, been totally sidetracked by a <laughs> new microphone coming out god damn it why am I such a, a whore for technology uh, so Elgato um, which is now owned by my favorite peripheral manufacturer Corsair yes I'm a whore I know I know, I'm not proud of it. Uh, I've brought out a new microphone and it is incredible. The feature set of it. So I might upgrade, I don't know. I don't know. God damn it, why am I such a whore for technology? Oh, well, you know what cures that pain? Ale. Claire! Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Hmm. Hey, Sherry. Funny I should uh, run into you here. How did you even get back here? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, let's start putting these tablets in. And I love these tablets. They're really cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know all of this. We know all of this. Do I really want to spend £200 on a new microphone? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Stop thinking about it, you fool. Okay. You know, I'd be probably quite rich if companies stop, you know, releasing products. Uh, okay, right. No, I wouldn't be rich. I'm not rich, but I'm just saying. Mail to the chief. To Mr. Brian Irons, chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the Mansion Lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operatives, uh, operative Albert Wesker. Hmm, okay, so he went uh, rogue, did he? Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, unfortunately, this interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Okay, so that didn't do as much damage as they were hoping, and it certainly didn't shut down uh, Umbrella. Now, Umbrella is a massive, massive, like, global pharmaceutical company in this game. So, obviously, that mansion lab was just, like, um, a tucked away little secret. That was not the main event. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members. Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers and Vickers. Oh, Vickers. Mm. If it comes to light that STARS have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. Yeah, okay, so you're going to make one, two, three, four, five people disappear and look like an accident. But wait, there's more. These five, okay, so making five people disappear is probably not that hard. You know, there's what, nearly eight billion people on the planet? No one's going to notice. But when you make five people disappear that are actually on the same team, that gets a little bit more uh, challenging, should we say. So, uh, yes. Uh, come to light the stars of any, yes. Hmm. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair, William Birkin. Yeah, see, William Birkin was not a nice chap. To Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department, I have deposited the amount of US 10,000 to the account for your services this term, as per our agreement. The development of the G-Virus scheduled to replace the T-Virus is nearly com is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the Executive Board for Umbrella Inc. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all uh, attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. Yeah, so interestingly enough, um, Irons isn't necessarily in Umbrella's pocket. 
it appears to be Birkin that actually has uh, Chief Irons in his pocket, which is interesting. I wonder if Umbrella knew about this. Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have a problem, and I have received information in, uh, informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to un recover my research on the GRS. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me, as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicion, suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary, and contact me immediately through Annette. With these precautions, any possible threats should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus, not even Umbrella. So... Quite a power struggle here. Umbrella, big umbrella, big farmer, if you will, was trying to take or getting interested in William Birkin's research. William Birkin has the chief of police at his disposal, but I guess Umbrella didn't know about that. And also, uh, Chief Irons has been getting payments of ten thousand US dollars per term. We don't know how long the term is, but if he's buying um, priceless antiques at a price to over a ten thousand, a hundred thousand uh, dollars, he's obviously getting money from somewhere else. So, was he also being paid by Umbrella? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how much uh, Umbrella really knew what was going on. Uh, come on. Follow me. Um, Sherry? This way. Ah, there we go. Claire! Claire! I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Yeah, I mean, there's a chance there's like a huge monster down here. It's just a guess. Apparently, Irons has blocked up all the escape routes. God knows how Irons actually became chief of police in the first place. He was quite a nasty bastard, to be honest. <sighs> and I should have brought more ale. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Ooh. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Ooh. nasty that kind of looks like the thing we saw in a test tube hmm. I'm sure it's nothing to be honest and look how look how horrible this looks oh my god it's like some evil lair somewhere it's a medieval dungeon I mean that's kind of like the vibe he was going for so this is iron's pleasure room. <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Mm. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up. You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? Yeah, so I guess he so it's true. has worked for them. You have been working with mm. Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. William Burke is the genius behind William Birkin. I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry. Isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my place apart is yet another product of the G virus. 
ultimate bio weapon. The umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Hmm. I just can't take the pain. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, the developers have been watching too much Alien, I think. Damn. Can we? She's not going to say anything. Um, right, yeah, so I guess uh, Umbrella was in the mix somewhere? Hmm, interesting. Well, I guess we're going to have to have a look, look downstairs. Hmm. It's a saw. Fresh blood is smeared on the blade. I guess he was cutting people up. Formi formalin, chloroform, and other chemicals. Eesh, yeah. So, <clears throat> it appears that the chief was some horrible murderer. Disturbing stuff. Yeah, this is kind of like a scene from um, Hostel, really. This is pretty rough. But the ultimate biological weapon. Hmm, yes, yes. Uh, I think we've heard that nonsense before. I definitely think we've heard that nonsense before. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Well, let's go try and find this little turd that has escaped. The G monster. Oof. Uh, all that? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. That looks nasty. Um, Claire? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's... That's unpleasant. Ugh. Yeah, that's very unpleasant. Right. Uh, Claire, I think we need to deal with this thing. I think we really need to deal with this thing sooner rather than later. Get off me. Come on. Enough of that. Yeah, that is some fugly shit that we need to make sure doesn't get any further. Um, this thing is kind of... Oh, God. Can we... Can we aim at this thing, please? Oh, God. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Going badly. Going very badly. There we go. Oh god, we're empty, we're empty, we're empty. We're on caution health, that should be fine. Guys, can you stop chewing me, please? I mean, honestly. Right, it's dead. Now, right, whilst that thing melts away, we're going to escape so the other things fuck off. Yeah, that is the G monster. Um... Now, in Remake, the G-Monster was quite different. Uh, in fact, the G-Monster was, like, without... Ugh, I can't say anything. I can't. I really can't. All I'm going to say... No, the G-Mutants, they were called. Yes. Uh, I'm not going to say anything ruin, that's going to ruin the game. But I am going to say, I like what they did. I'm a big fan of what they did with the G-Mutants. Big fan. Anyway... Let's get out of here. Let's go get Sherry. We did take a little bit of damage. I mean, we could have used the grenade launcher there. But we just, you know, we don't need to. This gun, coupled with the fact that we've got the uh, bow gun, you might as well use it. The bow gun is kind of semi-powerful, I think, against it. Because it hits three times, essentially. Of course we came back. We... I can't believe the man who developed the G virus is actually. Mm. Yeah. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. You have to make sure you don't leave my side. Yeah, well, that's going to be easier said than done. Um, 
You should be careful about promising stuff, Claire. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right. Trust me. We found a way to the sewer. We have. Follow us later. <laughs> Claire. Claire. Wait, wait. <laughs> I love the amount of information she gives Leon there. She's like, uh, we found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. That's it. How the fuck is he meant to know where we're going? <sighs> right, so let's go take Sherry and uh, continue downwards. So hopefully we found a way out of here. I'm a little bit more skeptical. We're definitely going to have to be careful with uh, Sherry. We don't want anything happening to her, but... I've played the later games. <laughs> I know she's going to be just fine. Well, that's the thing, actually. She <laughs> She's not fine. But she comes out with a, a bit of a bonus. Um, which brings me on to Jill Valentine after Resident Evil 5. Because, obviously, Ve uh, Wesker fucked with her quite badly. I want to know what she what's happening with her in Resident Evil 8. Oh, Chief... Shame we can't um, examine him and it, it won't say like, ah, oh, what a miserable death or something like that. So, yeah, I mean, Sherry got her superpowers from becoming immune to the, the G-Virus. Well, she's not, um, well, she is immune to it, but she's still got the G-Virus in her body. But her body is keeping it at bay. But So she essentially gets all the benefits from the G-Virus and none of the negatives, which is pretty crazy. Because, obviously, uh, she gets uh, administered the antidote. Now, what the hell happened to Jill? Jill was fully under Wesker's control with that, like, control thing on her chest, which was very Japanese anime stuff. But I want to know... Ah, oh, there's so many questions still left within Resident Evil. And Resident Evil 8's just been announced, and the trailer looks really good. Come on. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. But we've got Ethan now. Does anybody care about Ethan? Mm. Just be quiet, Sherry. Run. Why are you shouting run? Oh. Nice stealth, ladies. So... Yes, Ethan from Resident Evil 7. Does anybody actually still care about him? I know I don't. But hey, we get old man angry Chris. Oop. Um. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, bye, Sherry, I guess. I'm not really sure how Sherry just got sucked down that random ass vent, but hey, we're going to roll with it. Alright, Sherry. Let's go explore. I hope there's not many like horrible monsters or anything in the way. Because we don't have a gun. We've got a first aid spray and that's it. The game has brought us back up to max health though, which is nice. Uh, there's a zombie in this room as well. He's around here, I think. Yep. Yep, there he is. Luckily, he's not much of a threat to us. I don't think there's, like, anything we can really do down here. Now, for a long time, I did wonder um, what we can actually get that zombie to do. Because... Um, I wonder if there's like some kind of animation where he would grab us. Ah, these bloody cockroaches. Get off me, you bastards. Uh, but I don't think there's actually an animation of him grabbing Sherry. He just uh, pukes on her, which makes sense. Um, would have probably been a bit much even for the time if uh, he that zombie was grabbing a little girl. And, ooh, nice. And uh, 
you know, like eating her face. Probably wouldn't have gone over too well with the sensors. Uh, well, I... Ooh, that actually looked quite nasty. Claire's on the way. Don't worry, Sherry. Uh, Claire's on the way. Oh. Well, I guess Daddy's arrived. Daddy's... Yep. Daddy wants to breed. Yep. Yep, that's actually what is going on. Daddy wants to breed with his daughter, but it's not like you think... It's not like that. It's, it's complicated and confusing because it's Resident Evil and... Yeah, so... G G virus creatures why can't I pick that up? Can breed, essentially. But they can only breed with things that are a genetic match. Which is concerning because he bred with technically I'm doing quotation marks that you can't see. He bred with William Birkin, which is how we got the G virus mutant thing, but I don't know how he was a genetic match, but let's not worry about that too much. Anyway, thanks to the sewer manager. Use a list of the connecting facility on the first and third Wednesdays of the month. Uh, Angelica Margaret, chief of maintenance, will make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan as the equipment she will be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapours. On the 28th of every month, the chemical transporter, Dan Weller, will use the facility. The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout the, their transport. On the 6th and 16th of every month, Police Chief Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. On the fourth Friday of every other month... Fucking hell, that's a lot to remember. Uh, hopefully he had a digital calendar. William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Inc. So we've got a Chicago branch here. We never really heard about them again. We also have the uh, European... Uh, research laboratories, which we didn't really see, I don't think. So there's loads they could they could still go back in time and and fill some of this stuff in. Uh, of Umbrella Inc. Uh, as the probability of an attack upon Dr. Birking will be high, take every measure conceivable to guard his life. You will be informed of all other potential visitors uh, and the times they will arrive as needed. Guide these individuals to their destination safely. We expect nothing but the best from you. Charles Coleman, Secretary, Chief of Umbrella Headquarters. Mm. Yes. Well, this is a save room. And also, in that bag, there's either some bullets or there's an F-8 spray. I can't remember which it is. That's some bullets. Nice. Oh, that was a double pack of bullets. Very, very, very nice. Anything here in the old lockers? Ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess, I suppose. I suppose we can use that. Right, let's have a little look. Let's juggle our junk around. We probably don't need these herbs. We're also almost out of time again. I think they made the item box bigger as well. Uh, we don't need the blue herbs, at least not now. Get rid of these F8 sprays. Uh, acid rounds we can put back for now as well. We're actually getting a good little selection of those. We're up to 18. Which is nice. You know. Um, we're out of that. So there's little point in carting this thing around. We could potentially drop that back. Yeah. Let's swap that out for a herb. Get Claire back up, feeling her best. There we go. Right, okay, so let's go this way. 
The warehouse door is locked. We will use the lockpick though. Excellent. Now this is where Sherry just was. Uh, with that one singular zombie. But I think there's some stuff down here. Ah, bollocks. I think we can use the lighter here. If memory serves. Hmm. There's a zombie. There you go, buddy. Put you out of your misery, son. Damn it. That should do it. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Right, various codes and meters are placed in order. Yeah, well. We don't really need those, but... I'm sure... There's stuff down here, yeah. Well, we'll take the grenade rounds. I'm sure there's two items down here. You have grenade rounds and... A small ventilation hole. It's way too small for an adult to enter. Yeah, I mean, Claire's not very big. She seems like she's quite small. But, I mean, I guess Sherry's just straight up smaller, I suppose. Which, again, makes sense. Ah, yeah, I, knew, I was going to say. Ah, bowgun bolts. Okay, I wasn't expecting those. Uh, for some reason, I had it in my head that there were some handgun bullets, but... Hmm, maybe not. Can we go back through this way? We actually can. Is there anything back here, though? I'd say probably not. No, I like it. Can't actually explore anything here either. Nothing to see here. Okay, well, I mean, we took that one zombie out, I suppose, which is, I guess, a bit of a mercy. Because otherwise he would have been wandering around there alone. But now that makes me feel bad for the lickers and the other zombies that we left laying around. Don't they get any justice? I guess. I guess not. We're just here dispensing justice one bullet at a time. So, uh, I guess we have some ammo for our bowgun. I don't really know what to do with the bowgun. Are we going to use it? I, I remember getting more ammo for this thing, I'm sure. Um, but I think we're going to leave it be for now. It's actually, you know, it's definitely a little bit more powerful than I, I, I remember. Uh, we have that. I think we need to take that with us. Let's go. Now, of course, we could save the game, but I don't think we really need to just yet. And let's actually get a handgun out. And reload the handgun. We're doing alright when it comes to bullets as well. We're, we're kind of slowly clawing them back. Now. Let's have a little poke around. So, we have a map down here. Yeah, yeah we'll take this to a map, sure. And behind door number one, what do we have? Oh, now this room is a little bit gribbly. This room has spiders in it. Mm-hmm. I don't really want to play with the spiders, to be honest. Now, that was something that was really bizarre uh, with the remakes. Can we... There we go. Yep, we'll definitely have those puppies. It really was strange to see those particular things omitted. Now, I wonder why there's all these dead soldiers around. Ooh, hey, friend. Hello. I'm not going to fuck with you guys. And it's got to be said, the rumble on the, <laughs> on the Dreamcast vibration pack is, <laughs> is pretty brutal. It's good. Oof. Right, more spiders. 
Yeah, not sure why there was no spiders uh, in the Dreamcast. Uh, in the remake, I should say. I, I don't know why. Spiders are quite a big enemy, actually, in Resident Evil. So, oh, hello. Ow. Who are you? Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Yeah, uh, you seem paranoid. Let me think. You're here to steal my husband's G virus, aren't you? Uh, maybe. A lot of delicious on him, Dad. Husband? Then you must be Annette. Sherry's mother? What? Sherry's wandering around alone in the sewers. You have to help me find her. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. Oh, this is such a cool cutscene. This way. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. Oh. You might hit the sample. That did all right. Okay, let's move out. Damn. William. Oh my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Which one? Stay here. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. <gasps> Why would Are you telling me that you he do injected that? the G-Virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Um... Shoot! Eat this, you freak! The bodies are stopping it! What is this thing? Why don't you just run? <laughs> He's literally eating the virus. What is this thing? Fire! Fire! I guess that's how the bodies go into the sewers. And that's how the virus originally spread throughout Raccoon City. William done it. So those rats were the carriers of the virus? As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But... And that's not even the entire story. Every G-Virus biology, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. That's why he's after Sherry. What are you trying to say? Keep up, Claire. The bodies of individuals with non-related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo. But since Sherry is physical, that possibility is non-existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. The need to breed. It's Sherry. You go that way. Annette is definitely quite different uh, in the original compared to the remake. She's... Well, 
she's different in the remake, that's for sure. So anyway, let's uh, work our magic on this on this thing here. We've got some more fire rounds that I can see there, and two extra herbs. Lovely. We're certainly going to make use of those. Okay, so let's grab these bad boys. Can never have too many herbs, am I right? And we've got plenty of handgun ammo, at least for now. I'll have them. Right, let's go stick that bridge back up. Because that's a mistake I made last time. I actually forgot to put the bridge back up. And oh, that's a pain in the dick. That's a big pain in the dick. So I guess that's what happened to Chief Irons then. Like his body rejected uh, William's <clears throat> gift. So that's why it like viciously tore out of his body, I suppose. Whereas I guess with Sherry it will stay in her body for longer and grow or something or take over her. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. A high pressure gas cylinder. In case of an emergency, the red light will turn on and the gas cylinder may be removed. Okay. Well, what, what purpose does the gas cylinder have? Oh, right. Yes, it's explosive. Hmm. Good to know. Oh, can I actually see the crocodile? Sherry. In the water. Could you do, could you see that on the PlayStation version? I don't think you could. Not 100% sure, mind. Right, come on. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge. Only there was somewhere we could get a high pressure gas cylinder from. Oh, right. Here. Come on, Mr. Croc. One bullet is all I need. One bullet. Come on, Croc. Boom! I guess we needed two. Frustratingly enough. Oh my god, we're on almost 40 minutes of recorded. Whoa, look, you see, like, right into his face hole. Ooh, damn. Hee hee hee, what a mess. See, like, right into his face hole. The door is electronically locked. Well, that's not good. Yeah, so I'm guessing. Um. Sherry would become some kind of even bigger, nastier weapon. And I just got a message saying Cyberpunk is delayed. Is it? Well, I don't care that Cyberpunk's delayed because I already have too many games to play. Right, well, before we go look at Sherry. Oh. I was going to say, before we go look at Sherry, we need to get the medal. Come on, Sherry. Ooh. That looked like some weird snake thing. My stomach. It hurts. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Come on. Let's go. So, is that snake thing already come out of her, or is there another one in her? I don't know. Anyway, let's go, Sherry. To adventure! Yep, we're going to go up the ladder. Uh, it's been delayed till November. It's not even that far away. Uh, right, so this is the fuck factor right here. If we didn't, like, bring this bridge back up, this is a huge ball lake, and you'd have to go all the bloody way back. Um, I don't think... Yeah, we don't need to fuck with that. That's only if you play as Leon, I believe. And Ada has to slow that down. Right. I think I might actually cut this video off here. Which is kind of like an arsehole place to cut it off, but uh, otherwise, 
this video is going to end up being like an hour long and uh that's <laughs> that's a bit much so thanks for watching guys uh and as always till next time